Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at um, the different ways that you can identify certain organic families using specific reagents. Um, this is the 2013 question, um, so it's part B. Um, five separate colorless organic liquids are known to be pentamonol, ethanol, pentamonine, pentane, and ethanamine. Write a valid method to show how each of these liquids can be identified using only water. Um, litmus paper, so I guess that's universal litmus, um, and bromine water, or br 2 aqueous. Your method should allow another student to identify these liquids and include the reagents used, any observations made, and you do not need to include equations in your answer. So I'm just going to do a brief answer for this based on the type of um, organic family that you have. The first two here are alcohols. So pentan one all and ethanol are both alcohols. Um, just important to point out that pentan one all is a five carbon um, alcohol. So as you, increase the, as you increase the length of the carbon chain, the solubility, aqueous solubility um, decreases. So this is a bit of a tricky question um, in 2013. It's not that, uh, not that common to get two alcohols in the selection. Um, ethanol would be far more soluble um, in water. Um, you can water down vodka, for example, using um, keep vodka and water it down because of its solubility. Um, so ethanol is soluble in water. Um, pent one is an alkene. Um, and you can see from the selection here, it's going to react rapidly with bromine water. So it will decolorize that from orange um, to colorless um, rapidly. So that's a good test for um, an alkene. Um, an alkane will only react with bromine water um, slowly. And that's um, in the presence of UV light. Um, ethanamine then is a base, so uh, amines are bases, so it will turn red litmus blue, so red litmus will go blue, and then that will indicate which one is the base. Um, so I've essentially answered the question just by going through each one of the bullet points there, so I'll read you real quickly. Um, to, to separate the two alcohols from each other, they both mix with water, um, but the pentan one all won't, won't won't be as miscible as ethanol. I'll repeat myself there. They're both alcohols, but ethanol dissolves water far better than the pentan one all. And pentuanine is an alkene, so if you use it, if you use bromine, it will change from orange to colorless rapidly. And that reaction, of course, is an addition of um, halogen onto the alkene. And pentane will only react with bromine water slowly, and it needs UV light. Um, and ethanamine is a base, and um, it will turn red litmus blue. If you want to take a quick look at the um, NCEA answer for that, I'll just open up the page here now in a second. So this is the NCEA answer for that question. And um, so if you use water, add water to the five liquids. Two solutions will dissolve in water. That would be ethanol and ethanamine. Three will not. Pentan one all, and um, because of its long carbon chain. Pent one in because it's an alkene, and pentane because it's an alkene. Litmus paper. Use the solutions formed by dissolving in water. Add red litmus paper to both solutions. One will not change the color of the litmus paper, just the ethanol, and one will turn red litmus blue, which is the ethanamine, which is the base. Bromine water. Test the liquids that did not dissolve in water by reacting fresh samples with bromine water. Pent one in will rapidly turn the orange solution to colorless. UV light is required for the reaction with pentane. Bromine does not react with pentane or no color change, and um, slow color change is also acceptable. And the remaining liquid then is pentane one all. Uh, we could also accept that pentane and pentane one all cannot be separated by this method um, if the student mentioned that. So a slightly different approach was taken in 2012. And um, so this is the 2012 question. Again, they're looking at the distinguishment between an alkene. Um, which we have here is pent one in and an alkane, which is hexane. Um, you have bromine water supplied again, and also this time you have acidified potassium permanganate um, are available too. So in this case, you give a description of the reactions that occur, which you have to do before. Um, any special conditions required, you have to do that as well, and observations too. But the extra bit here is that they require equations showing the structural formulae of the organic reactants and the products. Um, there's three possible reactions that can take place here. 
So the first one I'm going to take a look at would be the pentuanine, pentuanine reacting with the um, bromine water. Now this here is an addition reaction like we mentioned before. And in addition reactions on alkenes, the double bond is always attacked um, and both um, or all of the reagents is added on to the molecule. So your product here is going to be CH3, CH2, CH2, and then there's a bromine added on to the second last carbon and on to the last carbon. You effectively make a halogen. Uh, the observation would be from orange. Um, bromine water is orange and then it goes colorless. And this would happen rapidly. So just like we mentioned before in 2013, um, so that would be the first equation that you'd have to write here to account for the first possible reaction. The second possible reaction we could take a look at would be um, the oxidation of the, the um, pentuanine here. So if we write down pentuanine structure again, and this time we're reacting it with um, acidified permanganate, MnO4 minus H plus. And this is an oxidation reaction which is just a special type of addition. And if you have oxidation of an alkene, you need to remember that you form a diol. So basically you put two of the OH groups um, onto the alkene. So in this case, we're gonna get a diol which has five carbons um, in the chain. And then at the last, uh, one, two, three, four, the second last and last carbons have an OH group attached to them. Um, so this would be, if we were to name this compound, this would be one, two, uh, let's, let's redo that for a second. So to name it properly, it would be pentan, pentan, one, two, diol. That's what the name of that compound would be there. And the observation here would be from purple, um, from the potassium permanganate to colorless as the alkene is oxidized. Um, both of those reactions won't, won't happen with an alkene. So both of those reactions won't happen with an alkene. So that would be the easiest way to distinguish the pent, pent one e from the hexane. But there is a third reaction, which you should mention since it is a possibility. And of course, that is the reaction of hexane with bromine water um, in the presence of UV light which of course is a substitution reaction. And in that substitution reaction, you'll get your hexane. So we just put in a quick one, two, three, four, five, six. So six carbon chain. And then you'll have a bromine um, atom, which is added at the end. Observations there again would be from orange to colorless, as the bromine water is decolorized. But of course, it needs UV light, and it's much slower than the reaction for the alkene. So the same kind of stuff comes up again and again each year. It's just that they change the format for the question. Um, and how do I know how to do all these distinguishments? Again, you guys have to just memorize the different features of each of the families, the different observations that you have for each of the reagents. And um, otherwise, you don't have much chance of answering these questions. OK, so that's um, how to identify organic compounds on your level two paper.